Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Today I decided to kind of mix it up and do a different video than what I normally do. Um, so today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Tatami Omega book bag. Got one right here. And so we're just gonna be looking at it. I'm gonna do some pros and cons, what I really like about the bag, what maybe they could improve upon with the bag. Uh, so let's get started. So first I want to say that the Tatami Omega bag, let you guys know they're not paying me to say this. It's just, just I wanted to do a review for, you know, a product that I use all the time. And um, I had no idea that Jiu-Jitsu backpacks were so popular. And, you know, that's like, it's like a little niche with, within itself, you know, the book bag industry. Um, so a few things about the bag. It's really great for commuting, especially I live in Europe. So I had to carry stuff all the time walking around. So this bag is just perfect for carrying a lot of stuff. And um, especially when I'm traveling, competing, this bag can hold two gis, guys. Two A2 gis, which for me is amazing for a book bag. Usually a book bag, you can basically squeeze like one gi in there. You know, you gotta force that thing in there and it's still kinda, it just doesn't work. But with the Tatami Omega bag, it does. Um, it's really cool, it's got the black on black. So it stays clean, don't have to worry about keeping it, wiping it down or anything. You can't see none of the dirt on there. Um, and uh, it's pretty sturdy. The straps are very, very, very thick. So, you know, if you you have a lot of weight, you you know, you got two geese, you got protein bars, you got belt, you got some change of clothes, towel, that stuff starts to weigh down. And um, with this bag, you can, you can survive a tournament or just traveling uh, for a few weeks on end just with this bag along. And um, I'm gonna switch over so you guys can see the bag in more detail. So here's my uh, bag, my tatami bag. I got it during Europeans. Um, I believe it's like $62. I don't know with tax and shipping, um, but it was about 40 or 50 euros at Europeans. And I think, um, so this is the basic bag. It's got the black on black, looks really good. So um, a lot of times people can't even tell it's a jiu-jitsu backpack. They just think it's some cool bag. You know, got a little bit of Japanese writing right there. In the front, we have a little storage part. Um, kind of hard, I'm using one arm here. A <laughs> little storage part. And uh, I think this is great for like your phone and stuff. Your camera, like small cameras you can put in there. And it's, it's got like the protective sleeve here. Um, you have two little straps, and I thought these were just for carrying it, but um, one of the guys at Tatami said is you can put your belt there, or maybe like a towel or, or something. Um, we have these cool little straps here. We can really lock the bag in or open it up to uh, put more stuff in it. I'm just gonna look at the outside of the bag right now. Got a little uh, place for your water bottle, and it could fit like, you know, I have a liter bottle right here, and it can fit even bigger than that. Um, you got a little side compartment. This is great for, I like to put small stuff in there. It's got a nice little zipper. I got some deodorant in mine. <laughs> Can't go anywhere without that, guys. Put some deodorant on. Um, so with the side pocket, I like to put like things I need access to or that I don't want to lose, but I might need to pull out very fast. So I put like, you know, deodorant or you know, maybe like my ID or something. You know when you're competing, you gotta pull out your ID so you can uh, go compete. Or, um, have some side straps that are pretty strong. I really like those. Um, I'm gonna talk about the other pockets too. Let's look at the front of the bag. So, uh, you got the two meaty straps that I said, the very thick straps. And the padding on it is really good. It's a little thin, but you know, when you're holding a lot of weight, it, it, you almost don't feel it. So that's really good. And uh, they got this little uh, handle here. Uh, one thing I would like to see is a little bit thicker material, something like this, or even like, like this. And um, I know like this might wear out pretty quickly, but look at this little thing, guys. 
man, if you're pulling like, you got two geese in here and all your stuff, this little thing, man, is not gonna hold it. Um, so that's pretty much the, the outside of the bag. So now we're just gonna look at the inside. So now we're just gonna look at the inside of the bag. And so it folds all the way. There's another pocket, I'll look at it, but we're gonna look at the big part. So inside of the bag, I believe this is a wet compartment. So if you have something wet, it's not gonna just seep all through the bag. Um, but I probably would not suggest putting anything wet, you know, in this part. But look how open it gets. Um, this makes for a great carry-on bag, you know, if you're traveling. Again, I could put two geese, I put some jeans, towel, shirt, socks. Man, I put my belt, I put everything in here, guys. So, and also it comes with an extra strap. I don't know if you can see on the outside, but there's little, um, little attachments there. And there's another one um, on the inside here somewhere that uh, you can use it as like a duffel bag. So I, I prefer using it as a book bag. I, I think the straps are kind of uh, it's kind of, it does, feels kind of awkward. I'd rather use it as a book bag personally. I got some tatami uh, stuff. It looks like I'm sponsored by them, but I'm not. I just got a lot of their, their stuff, guys. So there's one more little part. Uh, there's two more parts here. And so uh, there's another pouch uh, pocket on the inside here. Boom. And so um, got compartments for like keys or like your passport. Look, I got my uh, IBJJF uh, card cards here. Got my Japanese card. You guys can see that. Uh, so there's a lot of space down there. And I, oh, I got some tape and stuff. Oh, toothpaste. Uh, so you can put a lot of stuff down there. I think I just ended up putting clothes because it's kind of hard. You can't open up the whole pocket. So I was just putting like my clothes down there or my belt or something or toiletries. So that's one thing I would like to see, maybe like a longer pocket, a uh, longer zipper, so I can actually get more stuff in here and utilize these pockets a little bit more easily. And uh, the coolest part about this bag is that it has a wet uh, storage compartment at the, at the very bottom. And um, you can use it for storing like dirty clothes or just more stuff. You know, um, my friend uh, was using this part to carry his camera and stuff. So that's kind of cool. So we're just gonna unzip it real fast. All right, so I got it unzipped. So here's the second compartment here. And of course you can put like your dirty stuff or just more stuff. So you know, the sky's the limit here. And um, it's separate from the other compartment. So yeah, it's separate from the other compartment so it won't get the other stuff wet that's in the, the main part. So here if I unzip it, It's pretty spacious. Boom, you put a lot of stuff in there, especially if it stinks. And that's it guys, that's it for the bag. Hopefully this review helps you. Till next time, ciao.